Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video about how the inside of the Uniden R7 looks. So, this is the back cover right here. It says R7, as you can see. Uh, it's just four screws to take it apart. The face comes off, and then behind the face you have, so behind this portion which says Uniden, is this little um, lens which goes into the tube, and I'm sure there's a series of uh, mirrors in this. It's a big circuit board. Um, this circuit board says something about GPS on it. Um, it's the R7 ST GPS. And then this also has the buttons on it because it's the, it's these buttons right there. And then when you flip it over, this circuit board is probably the brain. It also says main on it, so easy to assume that. Um, the buttons on the side are pressing right onto the main circuit board which tells me that if they go bad you're going to be replacing the whole circuit board rather than just the smaller sub circuit board right there i'm sure the sub circuit board is easier to find than this one because um, this one is the main unit actually so there's a tiny speaker here which is at an angle actually and it comes out this way so um, and it's interesting because it's at an angle pointing upwards actually so when this is mounted on your car this way uh, this way it's gonna be shooting sound upward and bouncing down on you after it reflects off a surface um, but taking this apart what I thought was really interesting was um, pretty much this whole thing like when you buy the uh, the R7 which has like I forgot the name of it, but where you can put it in the, uh, you can hardwire it into your car and stuff. That's pretty much the same thing, just with extension cables. Like this cable that goes to the GPS and the buttons over there, it's just an extension. And of course they've divided that chip into two things, into the GPS and the buttons. But actually you don't even need to do that. You can just, if you plug into this right here, um, this already has the wiring for a mute button and for a mark button so you can get a the just the plug-in button uh, console and have this work as a remote one uh, and then for a screen this is an fpc cable right here the fpc cable you can actually get an extension fpc cable and put the screen wherever you feel like inside the car you could even mount the screen right near the original speedometer or the original uh, um, anything in the instrument cluster and then it would look like it came with the car so I think actually it's it, I might try this in the future where I just um, take it apart and look uh, and uh, mount it in my car in its sold pieces um, then the, the way the laser thing works in this I wanted to show that as well uh, so this little line right there that so this is how it catches the laser right here and then it shoots it up inside inside this little hole right there that hole that's how it's capturing the laser and there's a tiny dot sensor which you can kind of see here that tiny dot is what is absorbing that laser <laughs> which is pretty cool honestly um, I wonder how big the sensor inside this is, but I, I haven't opened this yet, and I don't really want to. I think it's a sealed unit, and I'm worried that I would break it, so I'm not going to touch that for now. But it's pretty cool. Anyways, this wraps up the video. This is how it looks, completely from the inside. Thanks for watching.